What's going on miners, Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. So as most of you guys might know, I've been into the solar stuff a lot on this channel. Now I'm gonna go over my solar panel setup, my inverter inside the crypto mining trailer and the battery setup. So if you guys are into that, let's do it. So as you guys can see, I have successfully completed all of the solar panels on the poles. Now we have four panels on each pole. These are all 100 watt panels, okay? So total of 2000 watts here at this little solar field I have going on. Now, when you have 100 watt panels, these are only good for right around 80% or what I've been reading at least, that's from my understanding. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments below. But 80% is roughly what you're going to get out of these like maximum. So how I have these connected is in series. When you add something in series, it goes more or less adding the panels together. So I'm jumping the negative from this one to the positive of that one and everything just loops around and then connects to the combiner box. Now the setup that we have right here is theoretically the same, everything's in series, but then it rides down this pole, it runs along the ground, it comes up this pole, and we end up tying these in in parallel. So these panels right here are ran in series, the ones behind us are ran in series, then you stick them together to run alongside each other so they are the same voltage and all that running down over to the combiner box and going in because you want to try to keep all of your leads as far as I know right around the same voltage and all that. So that's what we're doing. Everything's into this combiner box. Now let's get into the trailer and I kind of want to go over everything on the whiteboard and just explain a little bit. And then if you guys have any follow-up questions, please let me know in the comments below. All right, so this is my grow watt inverter. Now this company is fantastic. As far as I know, they get back to you. You can chat with them online. Um, these guys have an all-in-one system that is more or less readily available on Amazon from what I've found and this is an all-in-one unit. It just has a charge controller and an inverter all-in-one. So that's, you know, hence the name all-in-one. It's just super simple to use something like this versus adding a charge controller and a inverter all separately. That's just it makes the, the whole system a little more simplified, okay? So this is a great starter setup. Now, this is my battery bank here. Obviously, I have my whiteboard and I drew some stuff up there for you guys. We'll go over that in just a second. I'm just trying to show you guys everything I have set up. The bus bars are over here. That's where the batteries run. They then run up to the inverter. I have power coming into the inverter from the grid. I have power going out the inverter. So now that you guys have kind of seen my entire setup with the solar panels outside, I've put everything right here on this whiteboard as you guys can see. Now I drew the bottom side of the inverter right here for you guys. That way it's a little more simple because obviously I'm not going to be opening up this thing and showing you the ports. It just makes no sense. I'll get into a video for just this, then a video for just the battery bank, and then just for the panels, but I want to give you guys a full rundown of how this thing's wired because I've been getting a lot of questions and people wanted it in a single video, but it's really a lot to take in. So I just need to explain the setup here, how I have it all hooked up, and then we will, uh, you know, get into the other videos later. So as you can see right here, we have the panel input, you have the battery input, we have 120 volt going out and the 120 volt going in. All right, the in right here is for supplemental power for your off-grid system, okay? Technically, that is making it non-off-grid. It is now on-grid because at nighttime, it'll be pulling from that. So right now, I have this off, but typically during the day when this unit is pulling wattage from the solar panels and charging the batteries, I'm not using any on-grid power anyways. So the wattage tends to go up, obviously, and down while, you know, cloud coverage, the sun... Whatever affects the sun, it's going to affect the solar panels and the wattage coming in. But that 120 volt in is to supplement, again, the battery bank or whatever you have pulling through the inverter when the sun is gone. So that's the reason for the 120 in. It does not necessarily need to be used. You do not have to use it, but you do have to have batteries if you're not using it. So now the 120 volt out this is where I have everything going to the iPolo. So 
I'm not going to draw anything against this over to the iPolos. You guys understand this is out. This is feeding anything I need to feed, the exhaust fan, the iPolo, whatever. Now the panels, I'm going to draw exactly how I have this all hooked up so you guys kind of understand it. And then we can get more in depth again in another video. So we're going to take the wires, right? We'll just, I'm just going to draw one line. Positive and negative goes over to the panels, okay? I have it coming up the center pole and then I have a combiner box. Now the combiner box is to more or less put all of the solar panels in parallel and then shoot them back to the inverter at the same voltage, wattage, all that stuff. It just combines everything and puts it back, hence the name combiner box. So the way I have it hooked up is I have these all twinning together. So there's a positive and a negative on each panel, if that makes sense, okay? There's two leads. So we're gonna do positive to the negative here then the positive to the negative here. Then you're gonna do positive to the negative here. And then we're gonna take this lead, come to the combiner box, and this lead, and come to the combiner box. So that is going to put them into the same spot in series. So these are roughly around 20 volts a piece. Now that means it's going to be roughly 80 volts at the end point right here where it ties into the combiner box. Now my combiner box only has four ports four inlet ports and you can see I have five sets of solar panels. So this set of solar panels and this set of solar panels are run slightly different as I already showed. Again, these are all looped together in parallel. Then the wire comes down and meets up with this guy right here. Once it meets up with this guy, all of these panels jump together and then they Y each other together and go down and over. Okay, so the single strand comes from here, ties in here, this one ties in here and then they both go together over and into the combiner box. Right here is the parallel connection point. So these are in series, these are in series, and then they're ran in parallel to keep the same wattage. And I know this is a little messy, I'm just trying to make this somewhat simplified for you guys. Now this is going to come down to the combiner box and so is that. So that's how I have all these hooked up over to the actual panel section of this inverter. Now looking at the batteries, I have a negative terminal that comes down on this side of the batteries to a bus bar, okay? Then I have the positive that does the same thing, comes over here to a bus bar. Now we have a shutoff right here. I'm just gonna do that because that's how plumbers draw shutoffs. This is the disconnect, right, of the unit, which is right here, to be able to discharge or shut off the circulation of power, that way we can isolate the unit to work on it and just, you know, not have power to it. Now we have the lead coming from this top battery over here and it goes into this bus bar and the bottom over here, negative, goes into this bus bar. The reason for this is because you want the power to disperse evenly across all of the batteries and not just from here to here because then it would just be looping through the top set of batteries theoretically, not fully through all of them evenly, if that makes sense. So that's why you do the diagonal connection right here. Now again, this one runs to the negative bar and this one runs to the positive bar. So that's how all my batteries are hooked up. Again, this is the negative and this is the positive bus bar. Easier to draw if I put a square so you guys can understand. So that's my setup right there. Um, again, then the you know power out, power in, there's really nothing to it. This is fairly simple. The thing you guys need to keep in mind is the settings or the uh, capacity of the grow watt. So again, this is a 3000 watt grow watt inverter in the Amazon store, I'll leave a link below. We also have a 1900 watt maximum input. So that means you can only have 1900 watts here of solar maximum coming in to this unit. Now, my setup, for whatever reason, I've only ever noticed this thing turning up to be right around 900 or so solar wattage. So I think I should be able to run more panels, but that's for a later date. I'm gonna be messing with that at some point. Again, 1900 watts maximum. So that's why I got 2000 watts because 80% of a 100 watt panel is 80 watts. Then we have 80 times 20 is what, 1600. So that seems right to me. Now, what I can do again is I can break this all down further in a different video, but 
it's just very hard to explain everything at once. So I would rather do a shorter video and explain either just the batteries, just the inverter, just the solar panels a little better. So you guys need to let me know how do you want this done down in the comments below. But this hopefully will let you guys understand a little bit better about this all-in-one inverter. Everything is literally right here, pretty cut and dry for you when you look on the underside of this unit. So now a couple things I wanted to mention when it comes to batteries. The biggest things I had issues with was trying to figure out what size fuse to put here. Now I've seen some guys with 100 amp fuses and I've seen some guys with 250 amps. So I went with two 250 amp fuses. I'm not sure if that's actually correct, but either way you need to have a fuse in line with either the line coming out of the bus bar up to the inverter, or you can do it like I did and have individual fuses going from each section of battery banks. These are two different types of batteries than these guys right here. So I tied them into the bus bar individually with their own fuse. That's just how I wanted to do it. It made more sense to me. Now with all the solar videos that I did watch prior to me actually diving into this, my biggest concern happened to be this little resistor right here that pre-charges the capacitors of the inverter inside there so you don't blow anything up or get any sparks when you go and hook up these batteries to one of these units. It doesn't matter what brand it is, I'm just saying in general, you guys need to pre-charge the resistors. Now you can see right here, this ended up being a 25 watt resistor, okay? This is also in my Amazon store. These are super cheap and realistically, the wattage on these doesn't really matter. There's a bunch of them, but you guys just need to have something and leave it on there for about 30 seconds or so just to charge the capacitor so you don't blow anything up inside the unit. Again, this was my biggest concern when I was doing all of this stuff or researching because no one really said what the wattage of this thing was and the 25 watt one worked well for me. So feel free to go check that out. Um, again, guys, if you have any other questions, please let me know down in the comments below. This is just really hard and obviously new for me to try to explain to you guys, but I would like to sit down at a desk and actually show face and kind of do this together. So we might do a live stream and just kind of go over it if this all doesn't make sense to you guys. But if it does, please let me know down in the comments below. Sorry for being a little sloppy. It's a million degrees out here and I am literally dying. But until next time, guys, I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you real soon. Peace out.